hey guys you're welcome back to my channel and you're welcome back to another vlog this vlog is going to be a week in my life as an international student guys i am you know approaching the end of my course here in the uk and i just want to vlog as much as i can for the next for the next few months i'm going to end my course by january and this is october I have just one week left in October, so I want to vlog as much as I can to cover the rest of my, of my, of my, of my, of my coursework or study life, school life, anyhow you want to put it, because I don't think I'm going to be going back to school anytime soon. And even if I'm going to go back to school in the future, maybe for PhD or for another master's, I am not going to be this age again, and I might not look like this anymore, and it might not be in England. I don't know you know i'm just never going to come back to this time again so i just want to vlog as much as i can and document it okay so this week i have a lot to do i have two assignments i need to round up so i can submit next week and guys let me tell you before i am this kind of person that likes to finish my assignments way ahead of time but this semester has just been so hectic i mean very very hectic and very stressful because i'm combining a lot of things together at the same time and it it gets really overwhelming sometimes anyway i have some assignments to round up this week i have some content to create i have some work to do you know um i don't think i've ever mentioned this before but i am a student ambassador for my school so i have some work to do with the school this week as well and i still have to work on my final project because i'm not yet done with it and <laughs> i just have a lot to do Anyway, I'm going out now to buy some stuff to eat, just some groceries basically. Today is Monday, so this is the start of a new week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll catch you guys in the comment section. Toodles! Today is the end of Monday. <laughs> um, the time is currently 11.41 p.m. Monday night and I am so excited because I have been able to tick off every single thing on my to-do list for today monday i was able to shoot the brand video um it's a sponsored video i was able to shoot it i was also able to vlog i was also able to um shoot one youtube video and i was also able to do two assignments today even though i didn't complete the assignments but i have done them to a very reasonable point and i'm so excited about that and i'm going to round up both video both assignments tomorrow by god's grace so the last thing on my to-do list which i have not ticked off is pray and listen to someone i will not be able to do that because number one there's no time again and number two i have a Lilia challenge today's the grand finale of a Lilia challenge so i have to attend that virtually and after that i'll just go and sleep yeah so because i also want to try as much as possible to wake up early tomorrow so that i can do some things before i go to school tomorrow because i'll be in school from 1 p.m because i'll be in school from 1 p.m to 6 p.m so yeah i have to wake up early to be able to get some things done okay so yeah that's that's about monday i don't usually go to school on monday at least for now for now my timetable for now there is no activity there's no school activity for mondays by next month november i'll start going to school on mondays okay so i'm going to bed now i'll see you guys tomorrow during the week i had the opportunity to work for the school as a student ambassador and a content creator so on this particular day i had to stay in front of the camera to talk about the some of the different buildings that you know that are in the school and talk about the activities that holds in those buildings i think i had to talk about four three or four buildings on this day i missed my lines a couple of times but you know the people that we worked together they were very supportive and it was not it was not crazy it was really it was really fun 
and I really enjoyed my shoot on this particular day. It was really fun. Nice people. Hi. Yeah, you can. Wasn't supposed to go this way. Yesterday, I didn't need you next to me. Today has been very stressful and very exhausting for me. Not physically stressful, but mentally, mental, mentally stressful and mentally exhausting. What happened? I went to school normal. I went for my classes and after my classes, I was supposed to stay back in school to work on my assessments. I have two assessments due for submission next week. So my plan was I was going to stay back in school till like night from like 2 p.m. to to like maybe 7 p.m. to wrap up this assignment because I'll be going to work tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. So I wouldn't really have time to work on my assessment, you know, over the weekend. So I plan to stay and spend a lot of time in school. As a matter of fact, I took food to school because I knew I was going to be hungry right that was the plan but my laptop said hold my beer my laptop said what hold my beer and i think i actually handled this thing very well because normal me i would have cried because i really don't like anything that would stress me mentally or emotionally but when i got to class you know we did all the classes so when it was time for me to sit down to work on my assessments i brought out my laptop to start working and i realized that my laptop was not coming on it was not coming on like it was not you know like the battery was down or maybe the screen it was just blank it was not coming on i thought it was my charger so i took somebody else's charger to charge my laptop and you know to plug it in but it was not working my charger was working for somebody else's laptop another person's charger was working for my laptop but it was not working for my laptop but my laptop was not working it was not just coming on I was like, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? At that time, I even thought it was going to be like maybe something small. Maybe it's just the battery. Maybe if I take it to the repair shop, they will just fix the battery, buy another battery or maybe something very minor. So I, I went to the repair shop and he was telling me that I could not diagnose it very quickly, that I had to leave it with him over the night, like to come back tomorrow. And at that point, my heart sank. I was like, what just happened? My final project is on my laptop. I did not have it backed up. I only have my literature reviews and my methodology backed up. I don't have my introduction backed up. And because that was the first thing I did, so, and I did it on my laptop, I just saved it somewhere. And I do not have all my codes backed up. Like, because my Visual Studio, like the tool I used to code is on my laptop. So I code on my laptop but I did not back it up. My machine learning algorithms, deep learning algorithms, everything, everything is running successfully, but I don't have them backed up. I don't have them backed up on the cloud. Everything is on my laptop. That's by the way, I have two assessments due for next week. I have only one backed up on the cloud. So I was able to wrap up that one, finish that one. But the second one, since I, since I did not have it backed up, I had to start all over again because I know that I won't have time for my assessment tomorrow and next tomorrow. And this assignment is due next week. Do you know what? I had to start all over again in school today. I just got back home about, about 30 minutes ago and the time is currently nine right i had to start all over again and it was so exhausting for me and it was just it was not motivating at all even though i'm about 40 percent done now yeah i'm about 40 percent done now and i know that I'm, I'm, i will be able to meet up with the deadline but that's besides the point the assessment is not the problem my concern right now is my final project i have done too much work on my final project for me to lose it right now so i am just praying and hoping that god will intervene in this my laptop tomorrow and i get good news tomorrow and they are able to diagnose the laptop the issue with the laptop and offer a cost effective solution to that thing because <sighs> i don't even know like i don't even know ah i don't even know <laughs> oh god i don't know i'm just praying and i'm hoping that god will actually intervene into this laptop thing it is real. It is real. I, I've done too much work on my final project. I've done too much work on my final since May. Since May. Or oh, wait, let me say no no no. I just start May. But since like June. Since June. 
God, I know God will do it. Mm? God will do it. Oh, he has to do it. He will do it.